Welcome to Sustainable Sailing. This was from Friday the 18th, Saturday 19th of March. I've turned the sound off because we had the fan heater running to get to the epoxy to go liquid. This uh, has been followed by both of us going down with COVID, which is probably why my voice sounds a bit funny. Jane's voice is extremely funny at the moment. What we're doing here is creating a template for the bulkhead that is going to go on those bits of ply that have been epoxied into the boat. So a reminder, we're putting a new waterproof, watertight bulkhead at the forward end of the boat here. It's a bit forward of where the original bulkhead was to give us a full length berth and allow us to seal it at the bottom without the chain needing to escape. So I've made my first template. It's just hardboard. We got it, uh, we'll give a link to the video where we found out how to make these. So we're going to make the bulkhead in two parts. So the bottom triangle can fit that and then the top part after we've put the expanded foam in. We have had some discussions on the rival Facebook group about what to fill our watertight compartment with. I think the idea that appealed most for the f for future ones is to use empty um, fizzy drink bottles. But this space is so awkward in size and so small, we wouldn't be able to fill it very well with those. So we're going to use expanded foam for this very inaccessible forward one. And we'll look at using uh, drink bottles uh, for larger spaces. So, I'm going to mark this out, see whether we can fit it on the one piece of ply that I happen to have lying around. Absolute perfection. <laughs> Just time that right. Okay. Now to cut it out. You've seen us using a jigsaw before. We'll put that on time lapse. And to thank us for not making you listen to the jigsaw, feel free to subscribe and like this video. Okay, so we've got the two bits of bulkhead. That one goes there. And that one fits there. So I've got to just build a backing there so the two can join together. And then we're gonna epoxy these in place and then fiberglass over the whole lot. We're doing it in two parts so we can fit this one, fill the expanding foam behind it, then fit that one. We have at last managed to get the resin to go liquid. So I think the fore cabin is up to 30 degrees now. The resin is liquid and we're just mixing up some to coat all the wood before we fit the bulkhead. And here are the bits of wood ready to be coated in epoxy. This was going to go there as the joint between the two bits of bulkhead. That's going to go up against the deckhead for the bulkhead to fit against. So we're going to coat them all and then these two will get glued into place. Okay, we've got thickened epoxy behind it on all joints. We've filled the various bits of gaps, nearly finished doing the starboard side there and we're just mixing some more thickened epoxy to fill those gaps on the port side. And then the lower part of the bulkhead will be properly in place. I've done nice fillets behind it so um, that's all good. So it's 23 degrees in our full cabin. In fact it is a beautiful day but we've had the fan heater on and Dave has managed to fit the first half part of the bulkhead and filled most of the gaps there so it's all ready now for squirting fill in the first part with the foam. After that, we'll just put the second panel in 
and when we finish we're going to make some radiuses um, at the edges so that the glass fibre can go round the curves. The expanding foam is all in now. That top section is still expanding and still very soft. Jane's just mixing up the thickened epoxy to fasten in the top half of the bulkhead which will trap the expanding foam which will hopefully then expand up and fill the rest of that space. Welcome to Saturday. Jane is just measuring to go and cut the fiberglass cloth to make the uh, to cover that bulkhead with tabbing and uh, full fiberglass. While she's been doing that, I've been measuring, starting to work out my angles. So we're going to put in the top of the waterproof tank to approximately the bottom of that waterproof bulkhead and about 30 centimetres down from the top of here so that we have another fully sealed watertight area here that is above the water line. That one will fill with coke bottles and uh, bits of spare um, expanded foam when we have offcuts from doing the insulation. That won't be the level of the bed, so there'll be a bit of storage above it when we later put bed boards in, which will be at this height. We're still changing our minds um, about everything else here, but we think we've now decided we are not going to put a water tank in this area. We were cons are concerned that we were putting too much weight too far forward having taken out the weight of the diesel fuel tanks and the diesel engine. So instead, just at where Jane's toes are, we're planning to put another watertight bulkhead there, make this a watertight bulkhead and then the chain will go on under that floor piled here. And for the moment, in order to launch this summer, all we're going to do is put the minimal bulkheads in to contain the train and a chute coming from there across to drop the chain down into here. So we won't fit out this cabin um, as a sleeping cabin for this summer. We will do what we need to do so that the chain can go in the right place uh, so that we'll be able to anchor and put some temporary shelving up for storage and that'll be all we'll do in here. I've just been sorting out the angles on the ends of this. So this will drop down there to be the support for one going that way and a stringer going that way that the waterproof lid will fit on. Got some new tools to make that easier. This uh, we saw on Sailing Melody, so it's a digital angle measurer. But someone, we'd seen this one somewhere else. It's nice and cheap from Amazon, a multi-segmented sort of templating tool. And I found if I just take a couple of the segments off, you can lock it at any angle. So I had one doing uh, that angle and the other one so that was doing that was doing that angle and this was doing the other angle so yeah like that so that made cutting that a little bit easier so that's a good fit that'll be uh, screwed and epoxied into there as a shelf to support the stringer. I think we can have probably for that size space just as two stringers along the sides. But the next trick is going to be working out how they're going to fit into that little space up there. Okay we've got the first lot of fiberglass on there, two tabs strips all the way round and then two sheets that cover the bulkhead and go onto the sides. We do feel that we were a bit too stingy in how far they come along the sides. So we're going to add a strip down each side 
top was fine, um, but we'll make it so we come uh, a good six inches um, along the hull each side. It's not going to win any prizes, but it should be plenty strong enough. Okay, so we finished for this weekend. We have two new stringers. They're held in with nice chunky epoxy fillets at this end and a whole mess of uh, epoxy at the fore end. And you can just see here my tape measure broke clearly because it's a few centimeters too short. We'll have to put an infill bit there. But these are going to have a watertight um, ply lid put onto them eventually so that this becomes the below waterline waterproof tank watertight tank but up to here which is well above the waterline this is a watertight bulkhead so even if we got a hole in the bottom there and had to cut open that lid to fix it the water would fill that area but it wouldn't come over here at least if we can stay in reasonable trim so these we're going to fill down the outside edge with uh, epoxy and then put a glass fiber a couple of layers of glass fiber over it so they become essentially the continuation of this foam filled stringer so that should beef up this area of the bow which was slightly weakened by taking out the bulkhead here but it only went down as far as here anyway so hopefully once those are attached all the way along to the hull and they've got a nice thick ply lid bonded onto them that should end up being uh, really solid we think this is the ideal place to use uh, fizzy drink bottles as the permanent buoyancy and I'll fit a small inspection hatch into the lid just so we can visually confirm that there's no water in there occasionally. We did put the extra fiberglass on that bulkhead so very happy if not with the look of it with how strong that's going to be. So we're done with that now until we want to make it look pretty which won't be this year. That's all for this weekend. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up.